Hi, this is Anthony. I'd like to make my comments regarding Sushi Palace. Uh, there's a chain of restaurants across the Northeast in the tri-state area, Connecticut, New Jersey, and I think there's a couple in New York. There's multiple around me, one in Edison, one in Kingston, New Jersey, and uh, one in the Clifton area off of Route 46. Uh, it's an all-you-can-eat dining experience for sushi. They have a limited menu. What they do is they give you little sheets of uh, order menus where you put the number of stuff you want to order. Uh, multiple varieties, uh, a la carte rolls, sashimi, and some katsu and uh, noodle dishes. So, how does it fare if it's all you can eat? Well, for the 20 something dollars that you pay for, you can get a decently priced uh, California roll if you order enough of them and um, order by volume. However, they do insist that you finish what you eat and you can't order more until you're done with what you eat. California rolls are nice. Um, they also have uh, tempura rolls. However, some of the rolls they will actually substitute. Instead of avocado, they will actually use uh, thinly uh, bunched up lettuce. So it's not as flavorful as it should be for a sushi experience. Um, really can't tell how fresh the tuna is because the uh, actually I've seen them do it, especially at the carousel sushi places. They uh, come in packets of uh, tuna chunks. So doesn't look bad, it doesn't smell spoiled or anything, it's alright. Um, they have um, certain specials, like they have a uh, King uh, California roll, or Red California roll, where they use a King crab instead of a regular crab meat or imitation crab meat, and instead of the orange um, Tobacco or Tobiko or um, the fish eggs, they're actually going to be red. They do have a couple uh, good um, special rolls, the rainbow rolls are not bad. Uh, what I really enjoy is how they can also get a uh, pork katsu with your food and also uh, they have a nice selection of tempura. When you order the tempura, the tempura itself will actually be individual pieces. So if you like shrimp tempura, make sure you put more than just one order down uh, if you're going to just eat. Again, it's uh, all you can eat. They have a decent uh, green tea ice cream. I do not recommend the lumpia rolls there. They do look like regular egg rolls, but they are a bit of a lie because they're stuffed with broccoli instead of actual meat, and you can barely see any meat inside of them when you're looking at them. Uh, if they're late with your order, you can always ask to order again. Um, just be careful with your orders because the service there is not very attentive. Uh, servers will keep on walking around and um, they do not respond well to like uh, calling. Um, the tea itself there is actually pretty poor, or the ones I've been to, it felt diluted and uh, instead of a, uh, was not warm, it was more of a lukewarm uh, tea. Now, a good tea is a really part of a good experience, but hey, whatever. Uh, these places do tend to get crowded because everybody's also there trying to get their good deal and it's uh, cheap seafood, not really, but go there with your appetite and uh, enjoy. Again, there's multiple sushi palaces across New Jersey. There's some, some in Connecticut uh, or in the New Haven, Hamden area. So, I have not tried the udon there. I have not tried the soups. I mostly stuck into carry, uh, sushi and some teriyaki and also the um, katsudon or uh, the uh, pork katsu. So, it's an enjoyable experience. I've gone there. People I know like to go there. Um, but it's not high end sushi, but at this point, sushi is no longer known as a reputation food, it's just really common. So, it's good to try out for cheap food, but I mean, in terms of Asian buffets, you should go for like something with a little bit more variety than just a uh, fish basin or Japanese themed buffet. So, yeah, bon appetit.